hello friends welcome to my channel secret point my name is milan and in this video session we are going to discuss one of the interesting question of interview that is can we save the dot java files or the source file of java with uh, other than the class name okay this is most of the one important questions of interview which might be you are going to face so i am going to make a video on that please be careful watch it as you can see here that i have written this program hello world here the class name is hello world but uh, I'm going to save this file name with a different name. Suppose I'm giving the file name as demo, okay? Demo dot Java. I'm saving it as dot Java files, as you can see here with the extension dot Java. It is a dot Java files, okay? Now save it and close this program. You can see here that uh, I have saved this program with the name demo and but the class name is what i was given hello world okay but the class name i was given is hello world but i saved this program with the name demo you can see here from this location okay this hello demo java is demo dot java files is having the class name hello world inside this class i was taken one main method and inside that one system to dot dot print method is there which is printing hello world okay now let's execute this program and see what happening okay now I'm going to the switch to the location where I'm keeping all my Java programs okay now I'm keeping my Java files under this location so I'm switching to that location and uh, in order to compile our program we need to use the Java C tool Java C file name is our demo dot Java wait for some time okay now our program got compiled as of as the compilation is completed so after the compilation process the compiler should generate the dot class files as you know that uh, here you can see that uh, demo dot java files compiled and it generated the dot class files with the name hello world dot class only it is not generated with the demo dot class okay it is generated with the class name itself so now what we have to do to execute our program okay is we have to use the class name the uh, file is having one class with the name hello world right so we have to execute the program with the class name now hello world now you can see here that our program got executed and print one message got printed on the console this is the message which is written inside that class suppose I am giving the file name as here demo okay java demo as the dot class file is not present in that location so it is going to be thrown one error that is error could not find or load main class demo okay instead of uh, giving the dot class instead of giving the file name as your class name you can give any name but while executing that program you need to write the class name only then only it will gen going to generate the ex uh, result or ex output okay so this is all about this video session hope you liked this video if you liked then please do subscribe to my channel and keep on sharing with your friends so that uh, i will get motivated and make more and more video like this thanks for watching take care good night